What's going on YouTube? It's your friend Jess back at it again. I'm super excited and I know you're excited because guess what we got in the mail? Ipsy! Ipsy, Ipsy, I love my Ipsy, Ipsy, Ipsy every month. If you guys haven't had the chance to check out my Birchbox unboxing for January, make sure that you click down below in the description. It is up, it is there, it is fresh. I filmed that one first because as you guys know in December, Birchbox like totally broke my heart. So I wanted to make sure that Ipsy was here to save me and put my pieces back together just in case. Let's not waste any time. Let's get into a good mood. Let's open up our Ipsy. As you guys know, I never look up any spoilers for this. And if you want to be surprised, and just stay right here with the action. All right, so I feel something funky. <laughs> it feels almost spongy, the texture, and I'm digging it. I feel like every Ipsy bag we've gotten so far, or at least every bag we've gotten in the past few months has been like kind of that fake leather sort of feel. So I'm really excited to get something different from them. Let's see what we got for January. Oh, yes. Oh my God. Look at this, you guys. Look at how cute. Look at how neon. Oh my God. This reminds me of going to the pool or to the gym. I love the bright colors. I love neon. I love bright colors. I know I wear a lot of black, I guess, but when you work in the makeup industry, they want you to wear all black, okay? So I just happen to own a lot of black clothes. Also, a lot of my clothes don't fit me anymore. I'm gonna be posting a video pretty soon about how I've lost 140 pounds. <gasps> Are y'all shocked? I know, but I will post a full video about that in the future. Anyway, let's talk a little bit more about the bag, shall we? It has this sweet little racing stripe in like the 80s. I had neon shoelaces, super cute. And I love, again, a little Ipsy tag over here. It's got like that nice rubbery feel. So this bag feels serious. And this is kind of like a netting um, and it's really soft. And again, it just reminds me of like going to the pool or the beach. So I'm really pumped to see what's in here. It's gotta be exercise stuff. Let's dive in. Get it? Like a pool reference, dive in. Oh, almost thought there was a problem with the zipper there. Ooh, she is jam packed this month. Let me get the little card out. I don't want to see anything. Let's put, oh, I feel like a big tube, a little tube. What begins with tube? Oh, I'm excited. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm just gonna pull something out. Let's pull out this little, but I am. <gasps> yes. Is this from The Bomb? It is! I love this company. The Bomb Cosmetics, B-A-L-M. Look at how cute this is. I'm guessing that they're do, oh my God, how super adorable is this? They're doing kind of like a con sort of makeup situation. Like they've been arrested. Look, her little fingerprints are on the back. That is so darn cute. By the way, I am like obsessed with stuff like this. I love, this is gonna sound really bad. You guys know I love horror movies and stuff. So I love reading about serial killers. I'm currently rewatching Dexter. You guys, I started watching it with my friend when they were over in the beginning of January. So for New Year's and I am literally on season six right now. I have been just blowing through it. Let's go ahead and open her up. Ooh, this looks like a nice champagne-y luminizer. So this is a highlighter. I mean, you can tell by the fact that they're calling it a luminizer. It is very champagne-y in color. Let's go ahead and swatch that. One, two, three. Oh, I probably didn't need to do it three times. Yes. What? No. Don't do this to me, man. You know what? I'm gonna need to go on a hand, I think. Yeah, yeah, maybe my skin's too pale. Sometimes it happens, y'all, sometimes it happens. Let's go on my hand here. One, two, three, bam. Yes, there we go. So I think we've gotten enough gold highlighters in the past few months. This nice champagne -y color is really pretty. It's nice and soft and it blends really nicely. So if you like a nice illuminating glow, something more natural, you know, this is what you wanna go with. If you're looking for something a bit more nuclear, then you could try out the Jeffree Star highlighters. You could try out maybe Becca Cosmetics. I love that one. Maybelline is my favorite. Maybelline Master Chrome, yes, you guys, it's $9.99. It's like literally the best highlighter I've used all 2017. Absolutely. I kind of want to put some of this on. Why not? Why not? Just gonna use this brush that I've had sitting here for weeks. It's a big brush for a highlighter, but I don't care. Looks like it's picking up nicely. I already have highlighter on, but can you really ever have enough? The answer is no. Again, it's very subtle, but if that's your thing, go for it. Yes, Ipsy. You guys see what I'm saying here about Ipsy versus Birchbox? I am like, with the bag, I was already excited. First product out, even more excited. Second product out, 
What is this? Oh, girl. Cake heavy cream, rich vanilla shea butter, deeply moisturizing, totally to die for, intensely soothing body butter balm. That is long. But for those of us with dry skin, and as you guys know, my skin is dry. This is gonna be a lifesaver. I am putting this on right now. Oh, oh my God, I don't wanna wear it, I wanna eat it. It just smells like cake batter. Oh, love. Oh, look at how thick that is. I mean, just look. Look at the integrity of this, you guys. Yes. Oh my God, it is thick. Look at this. The fact that I'm able to do this and it's not coming off, wow. Let's get this on my arms, shall we? Oh my God. It smells so good. Oh, it's like I'm rubbing cake batter literally on me. I'm sure this looks really weird, but I don't care. It feels so good. My skin was thirsty. In terms of body butter, this is not greasy at all. I mean, maybe a little bit when you first put it on, but as soon as you rub it in, it's just, my skin feels really just baby soft. Baby soft. I cannot rave enough about this lotion. It just smells amazing. It feels amazing. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Ipsy. Two for two, Ipsy. I wish I was sponsored by Ipsy because of how much I like push their product. Yo. You need that makeup subscription bag? Gotta go with that Ipsy. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Okay, I feel three more things. There's a little box, a tube, and then a stick. Let's pull out the little box. Bam. That's upside down and backwards. I don't know what this is. It's a loose eyeshadow pigment from the brand Furless Cosmetics. Like, I guess they don't test on animals is probably the point. And Cruelty Free, yeah. They did not do a good job of printing the little uh, Cruelty Free bunnies on there, but that is what that is. I actually really love this little box. I love their logo. That's super cool, Furless Cosmetics. Let's see what color we got. It's called Sneaky. Oh my God, I'm gonna break my thumbnail. What? Don't you wanna be free from your prison? Oh, <gasps> not a rose gold, yes. First of all, let's talk about the packaging. I am super digging it. It's like a nice little ice cube. You can tell in there that there's not a ton, ton of product. Two grams or 0.07 ounces, that's fine. It's a loose pigment, I don't really care. And it's a good way to get introduced to pigments. Let's open her up. Oh, it's purple. Can you guys see that? Look at how pretty. I love that it has a little shaker. It was well protected. Thank you, Furless Cosmetics. Thank you for not testing on animals. I'm sure my cat appreciates it. I think she totally appreciates that they're cruelty free. I'm just gonna finger swatch this super quick. Oh. You know what? I'm gonna give her a fair shot. Let's use some Fix Plus. Okay, so let's get a little bit of this into the lid. That's more than enough. Oh, shoot. Perhaps I got a little overzealous. Now let's swatch. This is gonna be intense. I feel it already. Oh, oh my lord. Look at this. That is so stinking pretty, you guys. It's almost like an indigo undertone to it. There's definitely some iridescence. You can see that, some shine, yes. Let's see, it blends out pretty well. You definitely, because again, it's a loose pigment, you need to wet it. You need to use some kind of fix spray with it or something in order to get it to work, yes. And again, so glad to get something that is not a cranberry color this month or a rose gold. I mean, I am sick of it. I needed something different for January. Two more products to go. Let's dig in. Let's go for the tube or the stick. Let's go for the tube next. Perlis Blue Lotus Seed Mud Mask and Exfoliant. Gently resurfaces, detoxifies, brightens, tightens, smooths. 10 minute facial. Yes. Who doesn't need to brighten and tighten? Deep clean their pores. I will tell you guys that in a boxy charm a couple months back, I got the Dr. Brandt pore like derm abrasion. That stuff is bomb.com. It is amazing. It totally cleans out your pores. And because you're using an exfoliator, it makes your pores a little bit smaller, but I don't have many masks to do that. So I'm very excited to try this out. Y'all know my skin needs it. Yes. And finally, The Rock has come back to New Jersey. Finally, the last product in the bag. This looks like an eyebrow pencil. Let's see what it is. No, 
Magnetic Matte Lip Color. What does that mean? I don't know what Magnetic Lip Color is. Let's go ahead and swatch it. Is this the brand? Okay, here we go. Bickety bam. Wow, that is nudie, nudie, nudie McTootie. Oh, it's nude sticks. There, now I'm seeing the brand. I had to take the plastic off. Uh, it's hard to see you guys because they put it in like kind of that black shimmery writing, black on black, way to go nude sticks. But I have heard a lot about this brand. I don't remember if I've ever gotten anything from them before. I don't think so. So I'm excited to see what this is gonna look like. Let's go ahead and swatch it. Ooh, that feels smooth and creamy. Honestly, this is probably not a color for my lips. I couldn't imagine myself wearing this, you know what I'm saying? It has no smell and it does, you know, it does blend really beautifully. Look at this. So if you're into nude lipstick and you can kind of pull these colors off, then yes, this feels nice and creamy. Like it's gonna go on nice. I don't exactly know what magnetic means, but okay. Mm. You guys, another fantastic month of Ipsy. Again, in, in December, it wasn't the best Ipsy month, but it was still a great month of products. I mean, Ipsy has not yet let me down. I loved every second of this. Make sure that you check out my Birch Box video. Make sure that you check out all my other Ipsy review videos and the BoxyCharm ones. I am definitely going to sign up for BoxyCharm again because I miss it. My heart hurts this month knowing I'm not gonna get it. So as soon as your girl gets a job, she's gonna sign up for BoxyCharm. That's gonna be my little treat to myself for getting gainful employment. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for hanging with me during my Ipsy review. I hope you had fun with me today. I will see you beautiful people next time. Bye. Baby, bye, bye, bye.